Hey guys, welcome back for another carving video. So this is going to be the first custom order of 2024. And we are kicking it off with a bang. So we are going to be doing a first for me, and that is going to be an open wing snowy owl. So we're not talking like some small snowy owl. We're talking about over six foot wingspan snowy owl that will be mounted on the client's wall outside of their new business so this is kind of like a um business logo project uh, let me turn you around so i can kind of show you what i have draft up for us and then we're gonna get started so here is the draft so you can see it's gonna be a pretty epic owl he's gonna have roses in his talons um, we're gonna be doing two roses one facing this way and the other one facing that way it's just not here in the image so this is the slab I had a local sawmill mill out for me. So I'm gonna show you that now. So Butch down at the local sawmill milled me out this absolutely beautiful eight foot long slab of white pine. So um, based off of that scaled up image in the shack, I drew my lines that we're gonna be cutting out with a circle saw. That way they piece together nicely. But yeah, let's get started. This is gonna be a cool one guys. So we have the layout of our wings, kind of in upward V shape. I'm gonna find a log now for the body. So we moved our log with wings over here and I just have the wings temporarily screwed in right now. That way I can block out the body while having the visual of the wings. But uh, as you can see, we have some sketching on here. So this is going to be quite the project, so let's get started. So wings are off. He's looking a little odd right now. I'll show you what it looks like from the side. So this is why I definitely needed the wings on the body to block it out because that just looks odd without them. <laughs> so we'll go ahead now that I don't have to worry about hitting those eight inch timber lags in the wood. I can uh, be a little bit more aggressive with my cutting. So we'll kind of curve that around as if it's going towards the back and we can start gently shaping up the legs and then we'll take a break from the body, switch over to the wings. So let's go.
so I have the owl's wings mounted back on as you can see. So we're gonna get into kind of the nitty gritty details with the chainsaw today. Maybe start defining some feathers. Definitely gonna start defining some muscle um, groups and some more bone structure, especially around the face, as well as make a smoother body to wing transition. Um, I did actually a decent job getting this line pretty flush. So a little uh, glue and sawdust and that should become pretty invisible, especially since this is going to be a painted project. So we have a lot to do, so let's go. So we are going to work on the owl's face today. Um, I actually have his wings permanently mounted now. I glued and screwed them on last night. But um, before we like officially disconnect him from the base and then the owl can't stand anymore, I figured I would get his face done. But um, let me show you the back. So this is what it's looking like in the back. Um, if I do much more work on the body, I will take these long, I think they're eight inch timber legs out. That way I don't risk hitting them because he's just about that wide, eight, nine inches. Next time I'm out, I might pick up some, uh, six inch timber legs. Um, maybe I'll put four of them, two on each wing. I just think the eight inch is just a little bit too long with, um, how I notched the wings in. To the body but yeah so let's work on the face get this guy looking like an owl and then uh we'll start working on some claws
Okay, so we're making good progress. I'm pretty happy with the face now. Um, it's really hard because owls have very, very odd bodies. Have you guys like seen like a skeleton of an owl? They're literally just legs and a head. It's kind of crazy. Um, and they have like normal skulls, even though they have these big round heads, they just have like normal little skulls. Uh, I'm gonna post a picture here. Just odd, they're just not what you would expect. So um, it's hard creating that facial depth in an owl because they have a flat face, but there's still quite a bit of depth. Like how our noses stick out a lot more than like this area. So as you can see, like we have the beak and then you have all these ruffled feathers that are kind of pulled forward around the beak, but they have a normal skull, if that makes sense. But enough rambling. So we're gonna just kind of shape out the body a bit more and then just go in and do some very light texturing and feathering on the body. So I'm gonna set you up on the tripod and we'll keep going. Moving on the feet now. Okay, so today we are gonna start the daunting task of priming this bird, and then we'll jump over to paint and everything else. But um, we're gonna be priming it today with this. Let me turn you around so it's not backwards. But um, I found this to be the best of the best. It is not cheap. It's like 80 bucks a gallon, but um, it just applies so smoothly, like so smoothly. I wish, I, I can't even describe the texture how it applies. Um, almost similar to a stain. It's extremely thin for a primer, but um, really is the best of the best. It does not let anything through. And where this is going to be a white snowy owl, we don't want any like gross tannins bleeding through looking like coffee stains on this beautiful white owl. So we'll go ahead, prime it, give it a day or two to dry, and we'll go ahead and paint.
So today is a big day. Our big snowy owl is going home to his new home and we're going to be delivering and installing this carving. So that's a first. Um, so he's all packaged up. We're going to get there, install it, and then we can finally see this owl upright in the position it's supposed to be. I haven't even seen it upright like that. So I'm so, so excited. So let's hit the road and I'll see you when we get there. much for watching guys and hanging out today this was such a cool project and i'm so grateful for the opportunity for this one but uh we gotta get ready it is the first day of spring and we're gonna get hit with almost two feet of snow tonight so us mainers gotta prep till the next video bye